real-time update from the Appalachian Trail. Uh, today is Thursday, May 30th, and I have decided to flip up to Pennsylvania. Uh, well, my, one of my recent videos was asking your opinion, and ultimately I went with my heart, which is actually what 99% of you had suggested anyway. Um, I hear a loud noise. Holy moly. I think a tree just fell. Glad it didn't fall on me. Let's go investigate and then I'll continue my tale. Hey, if a tree falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Inquiring minds want to know. That'll keep me up at night thinking of it. Well, I don't see a tree on the trail. There's lots of trees falling in the woods, but I'll bet that's what it was. Kind of scary. Good thing I wasn't sitting wherever that was. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying about flipping. My heart feels most at peace with that. I will admit that my head is disappointed because I have in my head this romantic notion of hiking continuously in a straight line from Georgia to Maine. And I think most people have that romantic notion. And as one of the um, my subscribers, someone had commented, hit the nail on the head, that walking that continuous line and then falling to my knees at the sign at the summit of Katahdin and, you know, having that emotional epic moment, you know, is, is greatly disproportionate in my head. And, um, but that's what I and most hikers envision that it, it's just such an epic journey. But my journey, the journey I am personally on, it can't get much more epic than this. Two attempts, broken bones. I've, I've never been an athlete. I don't do physical activity. And look what the heck I'm doing. I am so proud of myself. I have overcome and pushed and, um, you know, moved past obstacles and things that I just never thought that I personally would do. Um, I, I am going to post right after this actually, um, this evening for sure, um, the reasons why I'm out here. It was posted last year and I'll repost it now. Every reason I'm out here is being accomplished even by flipping up to Pennsylvania. I will have a continuous trail from Georgia to Maine. Right now and all this week, I've been repeating miles. And for me, it seems like I'm wasting time when I could be continuing up north. So um, I'm proud of my body. Um, for those who have graciously weighed in, um, but many have said for me to just start early in the morning and hike to sunset, you know, just hike more hours every day, um, just push just a couple more miles a day and stuff. If those people actually knew me in person, they would realize I do push and getting up earlier and hiking longer isn't the answer for me personally. Some people can hike 15 or 18 miles a day consistently. That's not me and I'm not trying to be anything but me. I am so proud of my accomplishments and if my body tuckers out at 12 miles a day, that's the way it is. I am so grateful and blessed to have the body that I have with all of its you know, foils and fobbles and, you know, weak knees and cellulite. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it is what it is and I am continuing on. So no need to uh, feel sorry for me. I am going to hike the entire Appalachian Trail in just over a year. I, I, I just never thought I could do that. I just really never did. I don't want to jinx myself because I ain't there yet. But that is my decision. I'm going to flip up. I stepped off just south of Lickdale, but I think Duncannon is more convenient as far as getting there and, you know, transportation and all that. So um, I'll be with Pop and Peabody. Lolly is heading home. Um, she has some family matters to attend to, and it's possible she could rejoin us in the future. I don't know how that will play out. But Pop um, and Peabody and I will head north and take it from there, see where fate takes us. Thank you for weighing in and thank you for sticking with me and supporting me. Y'all rock. <laughs> You're a, a strong group and I love every single one of you from A to Z. You're the best and I look forward to uh, your continued support as I continue north. It's occurred to me that many of you 
might not know or understand the actual reason for this YouTube channel. If you're watching and you are under the impression that this channel is simply about this middle-aged woman's attempt at a through hike on the Appalachian Trail, you're wrong. Look below, just scroll down to the description, which has been there since the beginning of last year, and look at the reason that I started this YouTube channel. I don't know what's in my future when this hike is over, but read the description and you'll understand much better perhaps why it's so important for me to have walked the Appalachian Trail and not so much that it's done in that 12 month period. Heck, by the time I get to Katahdin, even though I'm flipping to, May, um, to Pennsylvania right now, I will have hiked the Appalachian Trail, not just once, but once plus 300 miles more from um, Amicalola Falls to Hot Springs. Um, oh, actually more than that because I've been repeating miles for a week. So um, I will have done the Appalachian Trail more than once. So um, read the description and you'll understand me and my head and my heart and the purpose for this channel. And you'll understand that flipping up to Pennsylvania and walking north from there makes complete sense. Undeniable.